New tonight, a new report shedding light on a dangerous trend, law enforcement line of duty deaths. Now we're learning more about the causes of these deaths and why experts say they're up from last year. Eyewitness News reporter Alexandra Leslie analyzed the report's findings and is in our control room with what it contains. The numbers from the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial Fund say 73 members of law enforcement have been killed in the line of duty so far this year, a 7% increase. Of those 73, 31 were killed in firearm-related incidents. You'll remember two of those officers served in New England. One was Sergeant Sean Gannon, a Yarmouth, Massachusetts police officer and New Bedford native. In April, he was shot as he was serving an arrest warrant at home. He later died and his canine near was seriously injured. And in Maine, Corporal Eugene Cole was shot and killed just one week after Sergeant Gannon was laid to rest. According to the Press Herald, the accused gunman allegedly told investigators he was mad at Cole for arresting his girlfriend. Out of the 73 law enforcement deaths around the nation so far, 31 were killed with a firearm. Most notably, eight occurred during an attempt to arrest a suspect. Six were killed responding to domestic disturbance calls. And three were a result of being ambushed, according to the report. Traffic-related deaths increased slightly this year. The report also notes 15 officers died of other causes, citing job-related illnesses. Reporting in the control room, Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.